Welcome to Knowledge is the Power. Friends, in this video, we will discuss on the topic Procedure for Imposing Penalties. This is the most important topic in CCS CCA Rules 1965. This video will help you for the examinations of AAO, Inspector Post, and also PS Group B examinations. Rule 14 of CCA CCA Procedure for Imposing Major Penalties. Before imposing any of the penalties specified in rule classes 5 to 9, an inquiry will be held. The disciplinary authority is of the opinion that there are grounds for inquiring into the truth of any imputation of misconduct, misbehavior against a government servant. If a government servant is to be imposed any punishment, inquiry is mandatory for major penalties. The disciplinary authority shall deliver or cause to be delivered to the government servant a copy of the articles of charge, the statement of misconduct or misbehavior, a list of documents and witnesses by which each articles or charges is to be sustained shall require the government servant to submit within such time as may be specified in a written statement of his defense and state whether he desires to be heard in person. The disciplinary action will, the disciplinary authority will serve the charge to the accused or the charge, charged official and send the copies of the statement of misconduct or misbehavior, a list of documents and witnesses of each articles and also direct him to submit his defense against the charges leveled against him within specified time. The disciplinary authority himself inquire into the case or appoint inquiry officer under the rule Public Servants Act 1850. In case there is a complaint of sexual harassment, the complaint committee established for inquiring into such complaints. The disciplinary authority could be inquire into inquire कर सकते अगर उनके पास टाइम नहीं तो he will appoint inquiry officer under the rule public servant inquiries act 1850 in case a complaint of sexual harassment of a complaint a complaint committee will be established for that inquiry the disciplinary authority shall where it is not an not the inquiry authority forward the forward to inquiry authority a copy of the articles of charge and the statement of the imputation of misconduct or misbehavior a copy of the written statement of the defense if any submitted by the government servant a copy of the statement of witness if any referred to in sub rule 3 evidence proving the deliver of the Delivery of the documents referred in sub rule 3 to the government servant. A copy of the order appointing pres presenting officer. If the IO is not the disciplinary authority, in that case, disciplinary authority will forward the copy of the article sub charge, statement of imputation of misconduct or misbehavior. Copy of the written statement of defense, if any submitted by the charged official. Copy of the witness evidence proving the documents regarding whether it was delivered to the charged official or not. And also a copy of the appointing presenting officer. These will be forwarded by the disciplinary authority to the IO in case he is not the Enquiry authority. Next, the government servant shall appear in before the enquiry authority on such a day and such time within 10 working days from the date on receipt of the IO of the articles of charge. The statement of the imputation of misconduct or misbehavior as the IO may notice in writing specify the specify in this behalf or within such further time not exceeding 10 days as the IO may allow. 
Ivo will send a letter to the charged official or accused to appear the enquiry within 10 days from the letter received from the Ivo. The government servant may take the assistant of any other government servant posted in any office either at his headquarter or the place where the enquiry is held to be present on his behalf but not engage a legal practitioner, practitioner for the purpose unless the presenting officer appointed by the disciplinary authority is a legal practitioner. The disciplinary authority regard to the circumstances of the case so permits. The charged official may take the assistant of any other government servant either he is uh, either in his uh, headquarter of the charged official or where the inquiry will be held. If the charged official wish to nominate legal practitioner as his uh, defense assistant, the presenting officer appointed by the disciplinary authority is also a legal practitioner. The disciplinary authority may permits to engage legal practitioner even though the pres uh, presenting officer is not legal practitioner in some cases. It will depends on uh, the circumstances of the case and also disciplinary authority also. It is the discretion power to the disciplinary authority. Next, the IO shall if the government servant fails to appear within the specified time or refuses or omits to plead, require the presenting officer to prove the evidence by which he proposes to prove the articles of charge and shall adjourn the case to a later date not exceeding 30 days after recording an order that that the government servant may for the purpose of preparing his defense inspect within 5 days from 5 days of the order or with with such date further for the purpose of preparing his defense submit a list of witnesses to be examined on his behalf if the government servant or charged official applies orally or in writing for the purpose for the supply of copies of the statement of witnesses mentioned in the list referred to sub rule 3, the inquiry officer or IO shall furnish the required copies as early as possible and in any case not later than 3 days before the commencement of the examination of the witness on the behalf of the disciplinary authority. If the charged official asked any of the any photocopies of the documents to the inquiry officer, the he will furnish the required documents to the charged official before three days to the commencement of the examination of the witnesses. Terms and conditions for appointing retired officer as IO. should not be more than 70 years of age on 1st July of the year of his impairment should be in sound health physically and mentally should not engage himself or herself in any other professional work or service which is likely to interfere the interfere with the performance of his or her duties as IO. Terms and conditions for a retiring, uh, retired official to work as IO that is the retired government servant should not cross the age as on 1st July for 70 years. He should, he should be good health physically and mentally. He should, he should not engage any other professional work because that work will affect the duties of IO. shall submit the enquiry report after completing the enquiry within 6 months from the date of his appointment as IO to, to become eligible for payment of remuneration. If there is a delay in completion of the enquiry which is not due to non-cooperation of the child official or due to stay order etc. the honorarium should be reduced to 50%. The enquiry 
require will be submit uh, the inquiry report will be submitted within the 6 month from the date of appointment as uh, inquiry officer then only he will he will be eligible for the payment of his remuneration the number of cases may be restricted for 10 cases in a year for um, serving government servant not more than two cases at a time for serving government servant the number of disciplinary cases may be restricted to 20 cases in a year to the retired government servant not more than four cases at a time for retired government servant the number of cases limited to serving government uh, servant is 10 and if the retired government it will be 20 and at a time only two cases will be given to the um, serving government servant and four cases are to be given um, retired government servant to work as IO. There is undue delay because of the require of, uh, request of the charge official for the time to give his written statement in reply to the charge sheet. As per the existing instruction, CO may not give adequate time in preparing this written statement. The charge officer, the charge officer may allowed may be allowed for four days absence for preparing the written statement by the controlling authority, and his this period may be considered as duty in which no extension of time shall be allowed beyond the stipulated period ten days. The charge officer may be allowed four days by the concerned controlling authority for preparing the return statement to the charges level diagnosed team. That period will be considered as duty. Whether a departmental officer is appointed as an inquiry officer in departmental proceedings, the officer shall be relieved from the normal duties for a period of two 20 days in two spells during which the IO should complete the inquiry and submit the report during the period so allowed. IO will attend the inquiry on full time basis. Penalty order should be issued within a month from the date of advice of the UPSC. In case departmental officer is appointed as the IO, he will, he will be relieved for from his normal duties up to 20 days in two spells in that IO should complete the inquiry and submit the report to the submit the report in that time and he will attend the inquiry on full time basis. Defense system intimation to be given to the controlling authority of the government servant assisting the accused officer rule 14 of 80 uh, rule 14 of 8 provides the government servant against whom disciplinary proceedings have been initiated may take the assistance of any other government servant to present his present the case on his or her behalf engaging defense assistant posted in any other station if the charge officer nominated any defense assistant name the controlling authority of the concerned government servant to be intimated to relieve the defense assistance and also to and also the child official will nominate the defense assistance in any other station also ceiling rise to be seven cases for retired government servant appearing as defense assistant and in cases of the government servant Working government uh, servant nominated as defense assistant. The retired government go, the retired government servant concerned should have retired from the service under the central government. If the retired government is also a legal practitioner, the restrictions on engaging a legal practitioner by a delinquent government servant to present the cases on his behalf contained in rule 14 of 8 of the CCS CCRUs 1965 would apply. Seven cases are restricted to the 
retired government servant to work as defense assistant and three cases are serving government servant the retired government servant concerned should not have in any manner be uh, been associated with the case at investigation stage or otherwise in his official capacity the government servant concerned should not act as defense assistant in more than seven cases at a time the retired government servant should satisfy the inquiring officer that he does, uh, does not have more than seven cases at hand including the case in question permission to engage legal practitioner as defense assistant on the behalf of discipline authority the case is being presented by the presenting officer of the central bureau of investigation on of a government law officer there are evidently good and sufficient circumstances the disciplinary authority to exercise his discretion in favor of the delinquent officer and allow him to be present by a legal practitioner any exercise of the discretion to the contrary in such cases likely to be held by the court as arbitrary and prejudicial to the absence of the delinquent government servant witnesses enforcement of attendance of witnesses and production of documents at departmental inquiries disciplinary action in case of refusal to appear as witness a government servant cannot refuse to be a witness in case in any um, in an inquiry against another government servant or against an employee of a municipal comi committee or other local bodies in case he fails to do so it can be constructed as a sufficient reason for initiating disciplinary proceedings against him if the government servant refuses to witness in any inquiry against another government servant the disciplinary proceedings also against the employee statement of witnesses to be authenticated by the signature of the witnesses the accused or the charged official and the inquiry officer supply a copy of day to day proceedings during the inquiry should be furnished to the delinquent officer by the inquiry officer the statement of the witnesses authenticated by the charged officer and also inquiry officer and supply the photocopy of the charged official by the inquiry officer procedure for initiation of proceedings against group a officer having regard to the transaction of the business rules it is necessary that in cases where disciplinary authority is the president the intimation of the disciplinary proceedings should be approved by the minister according to the entry of uh, 391 of the third schedule of the government of india transaction of business rules 1961 cases relating, relating to dismissal removal compulsory retirement or reduction in rank of an officer of the all india services of the central group a holding a post of appointment to which requires the approval of the appointment committees of the cabinet are required to be submitted prime minister and president it means in case sir, removal of dismissal or compulsory retirement to a group a cadre officer necessity of the approval of the committee of the cabinet which will submit the prime minister and also president appointment of inquiry officer and presenting officer in disciplinary cases the government had constituted a group of ministries gom on 6th january 2011 with the approval of the prime minister to consider measures that that can be taken by the government to tackle corruption one of the terms of reference tor of the gom was to be considered for consider of advice of fast tracking all the cases of public servant accused of corruption the gom while considering tor 
also consider certain important recommendations of the committee committee for experts to review the procedure for disciplinary or vigilance inquiry and recommended measures for their priority use serving officers as ios and pos and that important cases they may request cvc to appoint their cdi as io the gom also re recommended that the cvc may also maintain a panel of ios and pos from amongst the retired officers whose services can also be utilized by the various ministries or departments recommendations of the committee of uh, experts on disciplinary and vigilance inquiries committee the hota has accordingly recommended that the departmental inquiries enforcement of attendance of witnesses and production of documents act 1972 may be amended to confer on all inquiry officers to exercise power of a civil court for and smart uh, for enforcement of attendance of witnesses and production of documents accordingly it has been decided that every reference from an inquiry officer seeking the issuance of notification by the central government or competent authority under section 4 of the departmental inquiry act 1972 to confer powers on an en inquiry authority to exercise powers of civil courts for en uh, enforcement of attendance of witnesses and production of documents shall be decided within 30 days from the date of receipt of such reference it has been decided that one of the regular hearing in a departmental proceedings is started such he should as far as practicable continued on day to day basis unless the opinion of the io for the reasons to be recorded in writing and adjournment is unavoidable in the interest of the justice it has been decided that in cases where any of the witnesses in a departmental inquiry is retired government servant and is inquiry the expenses on payment of admissible admissible tada to such witnesses would be barred in the first in instance by the central vigilance commission and subsequently be adjusted with the department or organization concern, concerned types of cases which may merit action for imposing one of the major penalties cases in which there is a reasonable ground to be believed that a penal offence has been committed by a government servant but the evidence forthcoming is not sufficient for the prosecution in a court of law example prosecution of disproportionate uh, disproportionate assets obtaining or attempting to attempt to obtain illegal illegal gratification misappropriation of government properties money or shares obtaining or attempting to uh, obtain any valuable thing or pecuniary advantage without consideration for a consideration which is not adequate falsification of government records gross irregularities or negligence in the discharge of official duties with a dishonest motive misuse of official position or power of power for personal gain disclosure of uh, secret of secret or confidential information even though it does not fall strictly within the scope of the official secrets act false claim on the government like ta claims reimbursement of claims etc enquiry enquiry mandatory if charge is not accepted proceedings initiated under the rule 14 of the cccca 1965 cannot be closed by imposing one of the minor penalties after due consideration of the defense submitted by the accused officer it is obligatory to hold a formal enquiry before 
coming a decision about the quantum of penalty. Enquiry is mandatory if the charges not accepted by the accused or the child official. Power of enquiring authority. The position as it emerges is that an enquiry authority is not competent to issue formal charge sheet to the charge, charged official but it but is only competent to record its findings on any articles of the charge. Note, witnesses cannot function as inquiry officer or presenting officer. An officer who may have to appear as a witness in a dis disciplinary case should not be appointed as presenting officer or inquiry officer in that case. The inquiry officer is not competent to issue charge sheet and he will be he will competent to record its findings on the articles of charges. If any officer is witness to a disciplinary cases, he will not appoint as IO or PO to that case. Government servant under suspension eligible to function as defense counsel. A question has been raised whether the whether under the provisions of Rule 14.8 of the CCCCA Rules 1965, a government servant under suspension is eligible to function as defense counsel. If his services are required by the accused official, the reply to the question that merely because of an official is under suspension does not mean that he has ceased to be a government servant. As such, an official under suspension has full right to work as defense assistant. The question was recently examined by the Kerala High Court and it was opinion that there are no there is no rule that a person under suspension is not entitled to assist another government servant in the inquiry proceedings. If any of the accused official required the service of the any suspended official to work as defense assistant, he may be allowed to work as defense assistant because he has not seized as a government servant. Rule 15 next. Rule 15 of the CCCC is action on the inquiry report. The disciplinary authority shall forward or cause to be forward a copy of the report to the inquiry if any held by the disciplinary authority to the government servant. Whether the disciplinary authority is not the inquiry authority, a copy of the report of the inquiry authority together with its own, own tentative reasons for disagreement, if any, with the findings of inquiry authority on any article of the charge to government servant who shall be required to submit if so desires his return, return representation of a uh, submission to the disciplinary authority within 15 days irrespective of the whether the report is favorable to the government servant or not. The disciplinary authority forwards the copy of the inquiry report to the child official in case the disciplinary authority is not the IO. A copy of the inquiry report of the IO along with the reasons for disagreement if any sent to the child official and direct him to submit the representation within 15 days to the disciplinary authority whether the report is favorable to child official or not. Next, higher disciplinary authority instituting the proceedings competent to impose minor penalty whether proceedings are instituted by a higher disciplinary authority final order should be should also be passed by the higher uh, disciplinary authority on the grounds that on merit of the case it is sufficient to impose minor penalty. Minor penalty could be imposed by a lower disciplinary authority in such case the appeal against the punishment order of the higher disciplinary authority shall to be authority prescribed under the rules as the 
appellate authority in respect of such order. In case proceedings proceeding initiated by the higher authority, the then final order also passed by the such higher authority only. Disciplinary cases should be closed on death of the child official. In a case where a government servant dies during the pendency of the inquiry, that is, without charges being proved against him, imposition of any of the penalties prescribed under the CCCCA rules 1965 could not be justified. Therefore, disciplinary proceedings should be closed immediately on the death of the alleged government servant. It means if the child if the charged government servant died during the pendency of the inquiry, imposition of penalty could not be justified. Hence, the disciplinary proceedings close immediately. Next, time limits for passing final order on inquiry report. In cases which do not require consultation with the Central Vigilance Commission or the Union Public Service Commission, it should normally be poss possible to possible for the disciplinary authority to take a final decision within a period of three months. Means the disciplinary authority will final the decision within three months of three months if it is not required to consultation with the CVC or UPSC. Next. Dismissal with retrospective effect not permissible. An order of dismissal cannot be given effect to the ret retrospective from the date of commencement of suspension but only from the date on which the order of dismissal is passed. Whenever orders of dismissal or removal are passed on a government servant, Consequent on his discretion, uh, his decision on conviction in a court of law or for any other reasons, the order should be made effective only from the date of issue of the orders and not from the earlier date. It means whenever dismissal or dismissal order passed by the any disciplinary authority or from the date of the dismissal order will be taken, not from the date of suspension. It will take uh, considered as the date of dismissal, not as the suspension date. No closing of disciplinary proceedings without intimation to the accused official. Once disciplinary proceedings are initiated against an official, the proceedings cannot be closed without sending an intimation to that effect that, uh, to the accused official. Reason for cancellation of original charge sheet to be mentioned for, if for issuing fresh charge sheet. Once disciplinary proceedings are initiated an official without any intimation to the official cannot be closed. And if fresh charge sheet is to be issued, the reasons for that to be mentioned. If any charge char sheet cancellation, uh, that will be mentioned reasons for that one. Disciplinary authorities shall send the charge sheet copy of the concern to the official given him for representation also. Rule 16 of uh, CCCCA Procedure for Imposing Minor Penalties Subject to the provisions of Sub Rule 3 of the Rule 15 No order of No order imposing on a government servant Any of the penalties specified in Classes 1 to 5, uh, 4 of the Rule L1 should be made except informing the government servant in writing of the proposal to be taken against him and of the imputation of misconduct or misbehavior on which it is proposed to be taken and giving him reasonable opportunity of 
making such representation as he may wish to make the make against the proposal holding an enquiry in the manner laid down in the sub rule 3 to 23 of the rule 14 in every case in which the disciplinary authority is of the opinion that such enquiry is necessary taking the representation if any submitted by the government servant and submit the record of enquiry recording a finding on each imputation of misconduct or misbehavior consultation consulting the commission where such con consultation is necessary rule 17 of cccc is that is communication of orders orders made by the disciplinary authority shall be communicated to the government servant who shall also supplied with a copy of the copy of its findings on each article of charge where the disciplinary authority is not the enquiry authority a statement of the findings of the disciplinary authority together which gives reasons for its disagreement if any given by the commission where the disciplinary authority is not accepted the advice of the commission a brief statement of the reasons for such not acceptance it means the disciplinary authority should communicate the orders made by him to the charge official if the disciplinary authority is not the enquiry officer a statement of the findings of the disciplinary authority along with brief reasons for disagreement if any should be communicated to the charge official decision recorded is final and cannot be varied when a decision is to be recorded by a disciplinary authority other than the head of the state at this conclusion of the uh, departmental proceedings the decision is the final cannot be varied by the by that authority itself or successor in office before the before it is formally communicated to the government servant concerned the decision taken by the disciplinary authority is a judicial decision and once it is arrived at his final the decision taken by the disciplinary authority other than the head of the state is the final and it will not be varied by that authority also and or by the successor in office before it is formally communicated to the government servant or the charge official and the decision taken by the disciplinary authority is the judicial decisions once it uh, it is arrived and it is the final also common proceedings in certain cases where two or more servants are concerned in any case the president or any other authority competent to impose penalty of dismissal uh, dismissal from service on all such uh, government servants make may make an order directly that disciplinary against disciplinary action against all of them may be taken in a common proceedings it means if two or more officials concerned in any case the president or any other authority competent to impose penalty of dismissal from the service on all such officials disciplinary proceedings will be initiated in common special procedure in certain cases not with standing any anything contained in rule 14 to rule 18 where any penalty is to be imposed on a government servant government servant the ground of conduct which has held to be held to his conviction on a criminal charge where the disciplinary authority is satisfied for reasons to be recorded by it by it is writing that it is not reasonably practicable to hold an enquiry in the manner provided in this rule where the disciplinary authority is satisfied that in the interest of the security of the state it is not expedient to hold any enquiry in the manner provided in this rule rule 20 of cccca that is provisions regarding officers lent to 
स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एक्सेट्रा वेर द सर्विस ऑफ ए गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट आर लेंट बाय दी वन ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट टू अनदर डिपार्टमेंट आर टू ए स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आर एनी अथॉरिटी सबॉर्डिनेट देयर टू ए लोकल अथॉरिटी द बोरोइंग अथॉरिटी शैल हैव द पावर्स ऑफ द अपॉइंटिंग अथॉरिटी फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ प्लेसिंग एनी गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट अंडर सस्पेंशन एंड ऑफ द डिसिप्लिनरी अथॉरिटी फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ द conducting disciplinary proceedings against him if the government servant lent by one of the department to another department or to a state government the borrowing authority shall have the powers of the appointing authority for the purpose of government servant keep under suspension and also initiate the disciplinary proceedings against him next uh, rule uh, 21 of the ccscca that is provisions regarding officers borrowed from state government etc where an order of suspension is made or discipl disciplinary proceedings conducted against a government servant who services have been borrowed one borrowed by one of the department from another department or from a state government or an authority subordinate there to a local or other authority the authority lending his services here in after this rule referred to as lending authority shall forthwith the informed of the circumstances lending to the order of the suspension of the government servant or the commencement of the disciplinary proceedings as the case may be suspension order made by the disciplinary authority against a government servant whose services are borrowed by a department by one of the uh, one department from to another department or a state government the the authority of lending of the government official should inform the circumstances leading to the order of the suspension against a government servant on commencement of the disciplinary proceedings thank you for watching please subscribe the channel